Hey guys, what's up? It's Caleb. Welcome to this video. So, I have decided that I'm going to change the series that I have running right now, which it only has two episodes, or, or yeah, just two episodes, which is called Skilling Vlogs, and I in had intended to change that from the start. I just hadn't thought of anything very interesting yet. And I've decided on a series that I'm going to replace it with, which is still going to be basically an update series on my progress, but a little bit more focused. And that is going to be called skills for males and what I'm gonna do in that series is basically what the fuck is going on just click something random in my browser <laughs> uh, what basically what I'm gonna be doing in that series is just skilling and I'm only gonna be doing skills that can profit and I don't really care too much about experience rate but I'm not gonna do anything that's horribly slow like I probably won't do for instance sharks stuff like that or cannonballs I mean that's just I, I don't think I can bear XP rates that slow. I mean, maybe I will, but it's fairly unlikely because I am actually going for 99s. But the the main focus of this series is to go for 99s and profit a decent amount along the way. Like, say, 20 to 30 mil is a decent profit for a 99. That's, you know, 30 to 40k XP per hour. So, I mean, I'm going to be basically throughout this series, which is a very long lasting series, obviously, I'm going to be maxing out um, every skill that can profit me. Um, so, next skill obviously is thieving, and that is profiting me actually a little bit, not a ton, but blackjacking is about 80k GP per hour, so that's, it's decent for a method that's also the best experience in the game. I'm going to be doing fishing, probably a combination of shallow village and lobsters, and I probably will test out sharks a bit at different levels. I mean, one of the big things I plan to do in the series also is to just test different skilling methods, because... I mean, like, I myself, I don't know what the XP rate is like for lobsters, really. I mean, I know that at the level I'm at now, it's terrible. I mean, it's maybe 20, 25k an hour. Um, but I know that it can go up higher than that at, like, 90 plus, obviously. Another thing I'd like to test is tuna and swordfish, and I know that most people don't do that, and it's probably for a reason, but it's still just something I'd like to test. Um, and I'll probably do hunter that's a big one that will make you a decent amount of money I'll do uh, from level 80 I'll do reg and champas obviously because those are the best ways to make money from hunter and I will do I mean I do plan to do agility agility isn't really a huge profit I mean I'm, I'm saying it doesn't profit you at all um, but uh, it's just a useful one to have in general it doesn't lose you any money so I mean the series isn't going to be like super focused all the time, like so for instance, if I start doing agility, I'm not going to be making any money. So it's not going to be like skills for mills with agility where I fall off a course and have to eat a cake. Um, but basically, it's just going to be to show you guys that if you're patient, you can make a lot of money through skilling. I mean, I predict that by the end of this series, like once I've maxed all the this traditionally profitable 99s, I'll be at at least like a 70 to 100 mil cash stack, which I mean, if you go to God Wars, you can make that in a week or whatever, but for a level 3 skiller, that's pretty a pretty decent amount, especially if you're not a mercher, which I'm really, I'm not good at merchanting myself. I prefer to just train skills. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's that. This is episode 1 of Skills to Mills. Now, obviously, I'm not making any money right now. I'm just, dis I'm finishing off um, 40 agility, and I'm just going to leave it there for now, and that'll be my last skill that to get to an even zero, obviously besides Slayer and my 99s, and Thieving, because Thieving is the main one that I'm focusing on right now, but that'll be 90 pretty soon, actually, and then it'll be 91. <laughs> oh, fuck you, evil Bob. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this series. I'm kind of excited about it. I think it'll be really interesting, especially doing a lot of, uh, just like testing different skilling methods. That's sort of what I'm most excited about, um, because that's something that I... I do test skilling methods when I do them usually, like I set timers on my phone and stuff, but I don't really often test like less commonly used skilling methods just because usually they're not as good, but it's still interesting to test them and see the potential at different levels. And another thing that I was thinking that I might do is um, like for certain skill tests, like for instance lobsters at level 70 fishing, do like an hour of lobsters at level 70 fishing, see XP rate and how many you catch and everything. Then try again at 80 fishing and see what the increase is. To show to to try to actually like figure out what your percentage of catching fish increases by as your level goes up. I think that would be really interesting. So 
that's my idea. This is uh, episode one, and one big thing that I'd love to hear from you guys is any skilling methods from other skills that can be profitable, like not the traditional like resource gathering skills or whatever. Like if you can find a way that profit with like crafting. I mean, obviously there's bowstrings, which I may be doing some of, but I don't think I could manage bowstrings to 99. And with smithing, uh, there's cannonballs. I don't really know any of any other methods. And then mining, you can bank ores. Mining is sort of a weird one. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother with mining anytime soon or in this series. And obviously there's not really any way to profit with fire making. And then with uh, farming, I probably actually will be doing herb runs at some point. And then there's cooking, which you can't really profit with on level 3 because sharks burn if you don't have cooking gauntlets and monkfish don't make any money. Uh, and then herb lore. Uh, I don't really know if you profit with herb lore. It's one I'd have to really check out and see about because at, I know that there have been times where you could make some decent profit making sourdough and brews, but I don't know if that's still the case. So if you guys have any weird skilling methods that most people might not know of or whatever that can profit and just might not be very fast, then I'd love to hear you guys' suggestions and just test those out and make some videos about them and everything. Um, so yeah, that's about all for now. I'm just going to cut the recording until I hit 40 agility. And if you guys were wondering, uh, from level 35 it actually is better to do the Barbarian course than to do uh, the route course. It's about 3k more experience per hour. And the bar crawl only takes you maybe 15 minutes. And I mean, so far from level 35 when I started here, I've used one cake. So you really don't need much food at all here, and you need energies. But I mean, you need energies until I think level 80 agility for the Rileka and then RD courses. I don't, I've heard that you don't need energies. But I would recommend using this course and then use it up to until level 47. And then you can use a summer pie and boost to get into the. Wilderness Agility course, which requires... Oh, there's 40. So finally, all my stats look nice and even and beautiful. Um, <laughs> so, uh, at level 47, you can use a Summer Pie to boost you plus 5, and then you can get into the Wilderness course, and the Wilderness course is, like, so much faster than this is. I mean, this is 16k an hour. Wilderness is, like, 50k an hour tops, probably at lower levels, like, 35-40k, so it's, like, a huge increase. So getting to 47 is sort of the biggest hurdle for agility, and after that it's a lot faster XP. I'm probably just going to leave it at 40 for now, though. But yeah, for the Wilderness Agility course, you only need uh, 52 agility to actually get through the gate. After that, none of the obstacle, uh, obstacles actually require agility at all. So yeah, I think that'll be about it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys are looking forward to this series. I think it's going to be really cool. And it'll be something a little bit different rather than just the standard update on my progress or whatever. I mean, there's only so much I can say in each update video. It's like, hey guys, I got this level, I got this level. So I think it'll be a lot more interesting for you guys to see like accurate tests of different methods of money making and everything, especially for other level 3 skillers since it's notoriously hard to make money when you're level 3 and all you have is some gathering skills and merchanting when all the higher levels can do PVM and everything. So thanks a lot for watching guys, hit a like if you uh, like the video and like the series idea and everything. Make sure to post a comment, what if your suggestions, um, what you'd like to see as far as money making methods tested and everything like that. And um, subscribe if you want to see the series, see more videos and everything, and thanks a lot for watching.